So here I have my second silver stain ligature. I got this one to fit my hard rubber mouthpieces. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. This one cost $150. You have to go on their website and see which size you need for whatever kind of mouthpiece you have. So it lists at 140, but this particular one was 150. This thing is magnetic here, so don't try and push it and slide it out. Just open it up here like this, and boom, you get your little instruction booklet here, get your Omnicap, and then you have the ligature right there. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so you open this up, and it shows you how to put this thing on. Very simple instructions. It gives you some tips on how to adjust it in order to dial in the kind of sound that you want very helpful here you got your cap this nice little rubber doohickey right here this thing works out very well and here you have your little plastic or your little rubber filler thing and then here we have the ligature as you can see this one only has the one bar on each side as opposed to the one that had the two like on my gold one. All right, let's fire this thing up and see what we got. All right, so here's my modern vintage tone edge ebonite five star mouthpiece. I'm just using the cheap generic ligature with this. I'm gonna do a sound test with this first. Then I'm gonna bust out this thing, which is why I bought this to play, not just on this mouthpiece, but mouthpieces like it. So uh, here's the test. Okay, so I have the silver stain on now, and as you can see, I have these bands right around kind of the middle top part on both sides. And uh, let's try it. Man, it is a lot easier to play. There's a lot less resistance. Uh, I'm very impressed with this. Let me move these bands around and see if I can adjust the sound. All right, so as you can see, I have these bands much lower here and a lot closer to the reed. And having it in this configuration closer to the reed is supposed to give me more focus. So let's try it. <laughs> same mouthpiece. It, I'm going to paraphrase Kirk Whalum and I feel like it just got out of the way and allowed me to do what it is that I want to do. For 140, 150 bucks compared to how other things are on the market and if you're a little afraid about spending $200 or $300 
or $1,200, like the one they have on their website. I think 140, 150 bucks. Um, this is definitely something worth trying out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play a little more. <laughs> I'm not endorsed by anyone. I know I'm a big fan of Van Dorn and their products and whatnot, and I'm becoming a huge fan of Silverstein, but uh, none of these people pay me. I paid for all of these products, all these reeds, mouthpieces, saxophone, all this stuff is just out of pocket. So uh, I'm convinced if you are looking to get one of these Silverstein ligatures, I think that for the money and compared to what else is out there, this is a really good purchase. All right, I'm going to try this on my JDX Russo. <laughs> Van Dorn T6, Ebonite. <laughs> D7M. Almost all these hard rubber mouthpieces are kind of based off of the Autolink hard rubber. Uh, let me try. This Theo wanted data. <laughs> So I'm convinced this was a good purchase for me. Um, 140 to 150 bucks. There you go. Almost forgot. Here's the cap. Just put the cap on. And there you go. I don't know if it goes on that way or if it goes on this way. I don't know, but it fits. I think it goes on this way with the label down. Good to go.